Look, stay out my inbox with all the good morning, the hey handsome, the how you doing. Just send the money. Drizzle, drizzle. Just send the money. It's not that hard. Drizzle, drizzle. I mean, my best case scenario, I open up, you probably won't take me somewhere to like, what, Cheesecake Factory? Drizzle, drizzle. Are you out your mind? My Burberry cologne costs two fifty. dollars My hair do 200 The girl who do it use salon quality products. It's $90 a bottle, shampoo and conditioner. My beard oil, Maruka honey, tea tree oil, and lemon extract. It's 30 a bottle, head to toe, and vegan organic coconut oil. It's $40 a bottle. My shoes, Balenciaga, they cost me $9.50. I'm stepping out of Miri, baby. This is not Sheen. This ain't fashion over. This ain't city trends. This how I'm coming. And you want me to step out with you for free? Drizzle, drizzle? Just send the money, drizzle, drizzle. It's giving broke, drizzle, drizzle. It's giving you don't know how to treat a real man, drizzle, drizzle. It's giving you need to go back to the drawing board and learn something from your mammy and them, drizzle, drizzle. Women have said for hundreds of years that men age like a fine wine. Well, baby girl, fine wines are expensive, drizzle, drizzle. Get ready to spend. If you can't give me your flyer miles to take me somewhere that I haven't been yet, which is 24 countries, then it just shows me that you don't value fine wine. Drizzle, drizzle. It means you've never had it. You've never been good enough to have it. You've never been able to afford it. And if you can't afford a fine wine or never have it, how can I trust you to treat me right like the fine wine that I am? Drizzle, drizzle. You see, I'm a business owner. I've been around, but I'm in my soft guy era. I need a girl that's doing better than me. I already have 150 properties in Airbnb. I've already made $10 million. I need something new to me. If you don't have 300 properties, four Bugattis, if you don't have a billion in your bank account, then you're not doing better than me. And you can't afford this wine, Drizzle Drizzle. You see, I'm educated, I'm cultured, I can cook. I've got gray in my- Well, the males have started saying Drizzle Drizzle, like sprinkle, sprinkle, it's a new generation of men, so are, are so feminine. <laughs> drizzle Drizzle, I thought they were talking about Drake. So the men have entered their soft guy era, which is now called Drizzle Drizzle. So I'm a little confused with the name. It was from Sprinkle Sprinkle for the art for the feminine, and now Drizzle Drizzle for the guys. What are we drizzling? Who are we drizzling on? Are we drizzling on each other? What's what's the what's the what what's what's going on? And I thought the whole time men have been in their soft guy era. I mean, they've asking men women for flowers, asking you to pay. For the date, meanwhile, they're the one that reach out to you and ask you on a date, but now they want you to pay for the date, and they're asking for flowers, getting their nails done, you know, everybody's so feminine now, nobody knows their real position. They went from being passport bulls to co Colombia, and a lot of them were getting taken out in Colombia because they thought the Colombian women over there were stupid, and they weren't looking for this exact thing, which is a man, a real man, just like women over here are doing because they think over here women are too expensive. So now they are in their soft guy era, which is cute. I mean, I'm sure they will find women out here who will pay for them, buy them flowers, take them to get their nails done, you know, dress the same and all that stuff. But I, I wish them well and yeah. So anyways, let's hear some of their stories. And I'm, I'm, I'm all ears. I love to hear what it is that they're open to since everybody's in their soft guy era now. I love to see it. Congratulations to them. So yeah, so let's hear some of their stories. Bro, y'all really got on this internet and started the Bob Wars. Men really got on the internet and started doing this whole soft guy era shit. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you, bro. It's about damn time, my nigga. Drizzle, drizzle. The men have been taking this ridiculous rhetoric and standards that certain women have been spewing on the internet that when you think about it, you don't even hear in real life. And I've repackaged it to initiate the soft guy era. I tell you what, I submitted my application about a week ago and that bitch just got approved. I am now part of this drizzle, drizzle gang. Soft guy summer is here. Because why did this girl slide in my DM saying, oh, I love your content. We should link up sometime. Expecting me to respond. Excuse me, I'm in my soft guy era. There's no conversation I'll take part of that doesn't start with a cash app deposit. Let me make it simple for you. If I live with my girl, we're not going 50-50. She's going 120% paying for the rent and my lifestyle. My check better not touch a bill payment. Let's be honest here. If she can't pay all the bills while you juggle these mixtapes, is she really your girl? I don't think so. Drizzle, drizzle. Listen, I don't think y'all understand what this whole soft guy era movement is really doing. It's really exposing that a lot of women play ignorant to men's feelings and how they treat men.
Because if you look at some of these comments and even the responses I got from my video, there's literally women answering their own questions with their own logic. So that means they're fully capable of doing the right thing. They just choose to do the wrong thing because there's nobody to stand up for men. We have no public voice. Even though we created and did everything, we have no public voice for our mental shit that we go through. And this whole soft guy era movement just shows you that women know what they do to us. Women know what they're capable of and what they're actually indulging in. And they don't give a fuck. They don't care. Like, really look at all the comments. Really look at these stitches and reaction videos. They like, oh, they really want to be us. They really want. Because what a lot of women don't understand is that they benefit from men's hard work, whether they want to accept it or not. That stoplight, man, that police officer, man, that firefighter, a man like there's things that they benefit from us that they just don't want to admit to and that's cool but we know the truth i'm in my soft guy era we will no longer be pumping our own gas when we pull up to the gas station ladies hop out the passenger seat and pump the gas while we sit in the car and watch tiktok videos and we are now also requiring at least a hundred dollars to be spent on us on the first date. And if you can't afford it, you shouldn't be dating anyways. And I see all you females talking about, oh, soft guy era. You like men. If you like men, just say you like men. You want a female to take care of you. Stop yapping. It's giving broke. And this girl gonna have the nerve to ask me what I want to eat and I said nothing. And she had the nerve to come home with food for herself and nothing for me. Even though I said I didn't want anything to eat, that didn't mean I didn't want anything to eat. Where's my food? You're supposed to be a mind reader. Now can I get a drizzle drizzle? Soft guy era, it's our time. And you females that's on the street, y'all need to step y'all game up because y'all are losing to these females that's in the penitentiary system. They got dudes lined up just sending them money. Matter of fact, all the friends that I got, got them a woman that's in the penitentiary system. Y'all got to step y'all game up, ladies. But, uh, go on my child. <laughs> all right, ladies. The men have decided if you can't beat them, join them. So drizzle, drizzle to your sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, at the end of the day, you told men that they were toxic just for being men. You told men that strength and macho behavior and all the rest of the things that come along with being a man, those things are all bad. Put them away. Okay, they said no problem. They have no problem being in their soft guy era. So I hope you're not concerned about who's going to be taking out the trash because guys have decided you, princess, you get to take out the trash. And while we're talking about royalty, I hope you're not wanting to be a passenger princess because these guys, they want that treatment too. Fair is fair, right? Anything you can do, they can do. All right, well, they've decided to match your sass and now they're embracing it. So I hope that you get everything that you wanted because ladies, y'all have created some monsters, okay? Uh, so buckle up and enjoy the ride. I don't think it's ending anytime soon. Drizzle. Kings, this girl sends me a message says, hey handsome, how's your day? So I send her a message back, not a good day. She's like, oh no, what's wrong? I'm like, I was day trading, took the long position in DJT, lost $25,000. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you make it back. I instantly hit her with a block. First of all, I'm in my soft guy era. I'm not day trading to lose money. If you find out that I lost $25,000 in the stock market, I better see you put that $25,000 back in my brokerage account, drizzle, drizzle. If you can't put it in my brokerage account, sell me the money right now, drizzle, drizzle. Second, I should not have had to tell you that I was having a bad day. You should be able to feel my energy, drizzle, drizzle. If I manifested you because I don't chase, I attract, you should know already how I'm feeling before you send me that text message, drizzle, drizzle. And strike three, don't even start with, hey, handsome, or any of that BS. Do not start my day with the message without first sending me a cash app notification that there's funds in my account. If you wanted to, you would. If you want me in your life, you would. If you don't, someone else will. No more brokies in 2020. Fellas, it's war. The males have started saying drizzle, drizzle, like sprinkle, sprinkle. It's a new generation of men, so are, are so feminine. <laughs> drizzle, drizzle. I thought they were talking about Drake. Mm -mm. It doesn't stick as good as sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, yes, they do. Sound like they're actually drooling. Mm -hmm. Drizzle, drizzle. 
Sound like you drooling. She said it sounds like we're drooling. She can't even talk right. She, you know, she got to do the sprinkle, sprinkle. You know, she got the little stuff in her mouth or, or her face or whatever. I think it's Botox. I don't know what it is, but fellas, it is wartime. Drizzle, drizzle versus sprinkle, sprinkle. We're getting this rolling. The thing is, if you was in my live, I said I was going to start trolling Shira, Shira. But it looks like it already has reached her and the trolling will start tomorrow. This is crazy. You got to love it, man. It's about that time, fellas. We doing it. We doing it big. Drizzle, drizzle. Yeah, it, it got a little ring to it. Drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> ah, Shira, Shira. Here she go again, y'all. It's war. I told you. Someone says no dust drizzles. They, they should say poof, poof instead. Because they dusty. They ain't got nothing to drizzle. You got, all you got is poof, poof. <laughs> y'all, whenever they say that, comment back poof, poof with dust emojis, okay? All right, y'all. So this is what we're going to do. Whenever these women reply to you with the poof, poof, Put out a cup. Comment that red cup emoji because that's what they do with men. Shira Shira's whole movement is full of broke women. See, what Shira does is Shira teaches young women to go use men for money. And that's honestly a bad thing to do. And they don't care about what type of man they are, what, what morals this man has. As long as that man has a bag, they're going to go talk to him. So when these women are saying poof poof in the comments or whatever, send them a coin. Use a coin emoji because that's what they want. That's what they need because they don't have it themselves. <laughs> drizzle, drizzle. I don't know what's better is these dudes fighting back about taking their gym back and not being called gym creeks anymore or this drizzle, drizzle. Because, girl, <laughs> The way these men are fighting back has me cackling. I am in love with this drizzle drizzle. Cause the way these women are losing their damn minds and these men's comment sections are getting blown the hell up. I don't know which one I like more. You know what? I do know. I love the drizzle drizzle more. I love the drizzle drizzle more because you have so many delusional women out here thinking that they were doing something with their, oh, what is it, 4B, 4A, 4 don't give a shit, and they expect these men to just roll over and take it. You, These women have done nothing short of absolutely obliterate men for the last few years. Now you're going to learn what consequences are because these men aren't going to take it anymore. They're not going to take it anymore. So the masculinity, their, the machismo, what is it? The high value, all of the garbage that these women put out. Y'all are going to learn. Put your boots on. Put your boots on because I, I cannot wait for these construction workers for these men, men that do these disgusting, dirty jobs so women's hands can stay clean. I can't wait till they start quitting. And then we're all gonna be shit out of luck. Because those women that demanded that these men stop being so masculine, that all of this masculinity is toxic. Lace up your boots, ladies. Lace up your boots. Get out there and go take those jobs. Because, you know, everybody should be equal, right? You can do what a man can do. Lace those boots up. A lot of y'all dudes need to stop trying to play it off and just admit it. Like, a lot of y'all dudes really do want a man. Because I be seeing, like, dudes getting online talk about how they in their soft boy era. <laughs> and they want to be taken care of. First things first, Buka Butt. If you have more comments than likes on your video, you know you spewing some bull. If you can't afford a man, just say that, Buki. Need her taking me out first date, passenger prints. 
And I don't want nothing. Applebee's, no Cheesecake Factory. I don't want that three for 20 bullshit. I need my meal at least $200. And if you even think about sending me money for lunch, anything under $100, you're getting blocked. The fact that you even see me that low in that light is crazy. The fuck I'm gonna do with $30 cash app for lunch? What am I gonna eat? I'm gonna starve. Don't even get me started on the haircut every two weeks. And I like the tip. I'm in my soft guy era for a reason, Buki. Drizzle Drizzle has to be one of the funniest things I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> like, so men have created the soft guy era and they're calling it Drizzle Drizzle. I mean, I'm not like a huge like sprinkle sprinkle fan because I could see like the problematic things in sprinkle sprinkle, but Drizzle Drizzle is that like not funny as fuck like <laughs> like why the fuck would they pick drizzle drizzle like is it is it like satire i don't get it are they being for real are like the guys that are saying drizzle drizzle are they being for real like now i'm actually like getting confused <laughs> i don't know i've seen a couple videos and they just have me laughing because i'm like I get the whole movement is to basically leave women alone. But I'm like, I'm like, dude, that's what we've been asking for the entire time. So you're just doing what we've been asking for, which is really, really good. Thank you for that, actually. Actually, keep saying drizzle, drizzle. Keep doing the drizzle, drizzle stuff. Because if that means you leave us alone, then that's great, actually. And the drizzle drizzle just doesn't make any sense because of how like guys operate around women and the things that they do around women that I just don't think this would actually work. But if it does, that's amazing because you would actually leave women alone and maybe women would feel a little more safer in this world. Normally, I wouldn't even give this a second thought and I would just carry on with life. However, a lot of you seem to get your feelings hurt by the last post I made about Drizzle Drizzle and the soft guy era. To that, I want to just say a few clarifying things. One, I did not create this, guys. It is basically satire and sarcasm and guys flipping the script on women and all the ridiculous things that women have recently been demanding and feeling entitled to. Um, so we can move on from that. Also, the undertones ladies calling me a pick me, I'm sorry, but in case you didn't notice, advice from a wife, that's me, yeah, been married about a decade, it's not going to hurt my feelings to say that. Also, if the things that men are saying is somehow triggering for you, I want you to take a moment and internalize that and then think to yourself, hmm, I am really annoyed and pissed off and bothered by something that someone is saying back to me that I have been imposing on other people. Perhaps I should stop projecting and maybe I should start changing. Because again, if you can't take it, you shouldn't dish it. It's really that simple, ladies. This isn't literal. All of America, all these men out here, all of these drizzle drizzle commentary comments, they are not all gay. We can stop implying they're gay and every woman who stands up for them is a pick me, okay? Sometimes the problem really is just you. And don't get me wrong, everything was perfect. Like, she cooked, she cleaned, she did everything. She was beautiful. She did everything I needed her to do. But after a while, it just it just wasn't clicking for me. Like, the, it, the, the, the fire was gone. And one day I woke up, I was like, man, I'm about to go to Starbucks and get me something to drink, you feel me? Everything was cool at the crib. But I just woke up, I wanted to go get something from Starbucks. So when I hit the Starbucks, I promise y'all, I'm looking exactly how I'm looking right now. The lady at the cash register, she gave me a compliment. And when she gave me that compliment, I realized how long I've been going without getting a compliment. And this just ain't no regular compliment, you feel me? She called me beautiful. She called me beautiful. Now listen, I don't know if y'all ever got a no-cut compliment, got a compliment without even having a haircut, but it hit different. And it made me tear up, bro. Because I realized I've been going so long without that.
going so long without that. And trust me, yeah, she do all the stuff at the crib. She cooks, she cleans, she's good to me. But she forgets the little things. She forgets the small stuff. Like, you don't got to settle for less, fellas. You don't got to settle. Just because somebody's good to you don't mean that they're the one for you. No, you Jizzle Jizzle men are actually being dead serious. You're not making a mockery of any Sprinkle Sprinkle gals. You're simply projecting, right? Because Sprinkle Sprinkle gals, we're not, we don't have to make anything up. We can just live the experience and then talk about it because it is a reality for us in our dating experience, right? Because we don't seek men, the men seek us. Us, and we pick and choose which man is worthy of being with us. And we specifically choose the men who are willing to provide. That's all. The last three men I've chosen to give my time and energy either pay my rent, pay my bills, or gave me money anytime I asked or took me out on shopping sprees. I didn't have to open any doors. Why should I lift a finger around a man, right? So I'm saying that out loud, not to be funny, it's because that is my reality. <laughs> so it could sound dumb to you all you want. At least we get to live that reality by choice. It's fabulous to be honest, but if you're not capable of being that masculine energy in a feminine's life, I mean, work that out. But projecting your little drizzle drizzle, I feel sorry for you. Honestly, it's sad. Men hate women. For a woman to get paid and get rich is to marry. And also to take his money and start your business. Oh, period. Don't talk to nobody unless they make 6K plus. They just hate women. You don't reach for your wallet for nothing when you in the presence of a man. They don't hate coochie. They just hate women. You do not go above and beyond for a man. Okay. You let them do going. You let them do all the going above and beyond for you. The only thing women have asked of men is to be treated better. Get my money. Get my school paid for, and some new clothes. No, nothing that was materialistic. But what do you bring to the table, Miss Nothing. I'm not no waitress. And if I was, I'm putting extra food on that bill so you can give me extra. <laughs> Emotionally. I would never give my all to anybody unless they're my children. Supporting, caring. And they still ain't getting 100%. Okay. Oh, nothing that... Yo, where's all my drizzle, drizzle, soft life guys at? I got something to say to y'all. Not everybody get to drizzle. All drizzle is not created equally. If you wasn't shit and you ain't been doing shit, then you don't deserve the drizzle. You don't get to come from being a bum to get the drizzle. From treating women like shit, being unfaithful. You don't get the drizzle. That's not for you. If you're not taking care of yourself, you haven't been taking care of business for the last couple years, so you're our drizzle in void. Y'all messing up the drizzle for everybody else. Now, if you got your shit together and you been had your shit together and you been handling drizzness, then drizzle, drizzle, my nizzle. Y'all know who y'all are and y'all bums know who y'all are too. Like me, I'm getting my drizzle on. I'm doing a little different than y'all though. I took the light skin approach to the drizzle. Drizzle, respect drizzle. Get it how you live. I'm talking Ray Finkel Super Bowl ring. Trying to be a stay-at-home dad and play Legos with the kids and do ADHD projects. It might drizzle on, you know what I'm saying? But I gotta say it again. Not all drizzle was created equally and not everybody gets the... So I have zero shame in telling a woman that after three months, she better be paying my bills. And if she's not, then bye-bye. Like, there's almost eight billion people in the world. If you won't do it, there's somebody else that will. I have no shame. Like, I'm kind of sort of trying to find somebody to bring me food every once in a while. Like, honestly, like, isn't it true that if she wanted to, she would? Like, I just get so fed up dealing with all these brokies all the time. Like, they're just, they're everywhere. It's all these women that just, they expect me to just put out, but they're not going to pay my truck payment, pay my rent, pay my cell phone. Like, I just, what am I getting out of this if you're not doing those things? Like, I was talking to this girl, and I told her, like, look, after three months, you know, if we're still together, you're paying my bills. And she's like, no. And so I told her, like, okay, well, then this just clearly isn't going to work out. And you just clearly don't like me enough. And I'm not going to waste my time on some brokey. 
like, let's be honest, like after three months, like she knows, like she knows if we're not crazy and she actually likes us, she's going to pay our bills. She's going to buy my truck. She's going to get me some bling bling, you know, she's going to randomly buy me a trip to the Keys to where me and my guys can go hang out. I've just got to be honest, like if she's not doing these things, I'm out. Drizzle, drizzle. For all the guys making these Instagram stories, talking shit about men wanting to be in their soft guy era, saying they don't understand it, they don't get it, this and that, whoop de whoop. Let me ask you a question. Come here, pops. Hey, did she pick you yet, dog? Did she pick you? Did she reply to your story saying you're a real man? Come on, bro. Look at this right here. Hey, you could be living like this, but instead, you out here chasing these girls and you should be chasing that bag. Hey, Pops, I'm gonna tell you something. You always lose money chasing women, but you'll never lose women chasing money. And for all the men in their soft guy era, having the standards, y'all onto something. And I applaud you because it's been going on far too long now. Far, far too long. Men want us to be their servants. We... Men don't want anything from you. We're in our soft guy era. Drizzle, drizzle. We've checked out. We're tired of providing and protecting for women that don't give a damn about us and constantly complain about the masculinity that it takes to provide and protect. You call it toxic. So we quit, Drizzle Drizzle. We don't need you to do anything for us, Drizzle Drizzle. Matter of fact, it's time for you to lead the way with your wallet, Drizzle Drizzle. If you wanna be with one of us, then it's time for you to pay for it, Drizzle Drizzle. We've given up, we quit, we checked out. Everything that we do is wrong, even though we built the country that you live in. We've given you a whole world, and you're still unappreciative, Drizzle Drizzle. So it's time for you to take the lead with your wallet, Drizzle Drizzle, and pay for us men. Drizzle Drizzle. Fellas, you see how they're trying to get away with giving you the bare fucking minimum, like cleaning up for me? As you should. <laughs> I'm in my soft guy era. No, no, because literally all the comments are like, oh, well, I made a mistake dinner one time. Oh, oh, I cleaned up behind his toilet one time. As you should. <laughs> like, what else would you give me? How, why do you expect me to give my body to you and my time and my attention and you can't even give me the bare minimum? Fellas, we're not accepting this anymore, okay? I'm in my soft guy and the blatant body shaming and misandrony coming from this video, it's giving ick. Like, <laughs> this is all women. Uh, I just don't understand why you can't give the bare minimum to about every guy. It's not that hard to do. All men deserve this. All men are kings. I don't think you guys understand that we're in our soft guy era. Guys, stay safe out here. Drizzle, drizzle, okay? Depends on his vibes, like, because I got money. I'll pay for it. You want to go out? We'll go out. See that? That was a queen right there. That was a queen. She was raised right. Yeah. I've had an insanely busy day, and this soft guy era stuff is like... So am I the only woman trying to figure out a time when men weren't in their soft guy era as of recent times? I mean, because nowadays, men don't want to pay for dates. They want to take your check. They want to spend your money and give you an allowance out of your check. They want to stay home and play video games. They want you to change your own oil. They want you to wash your own car. They want you to do your own maintenance. They just want to sit around the house and chill with the boys. The boys. While you also have a full-time job. You have their children. And they're relaxing in their feminine energy, sitting on your couch while you do your double workload. <laughs> we never left 
self got your and I'm glad men are doing this because you're really showing your true colors. You're really letting us know that you really don't have the capability of being a man, a real man who is a provider, protector. Even the Bible says that. And a lot of men who is doing this drizzle, drizzle are so-called Christians. They follow the Bible except for that part where it says for you to be a provider and protector for your family. But women are able to hold off a lot longer than men unless you're going to find a pick me she's going to pay your bills take you out to eat and then give you sex on top of that it's going to be very hard for you to you know continue with this and i'm glad I'm, I'm happy that they're actually supporting each other but do you guys know anything about the switzerland movement where the women basically stop um going to work for an entire day in the whole country basically couldn't move because the women decided not to cook not to clean um, they left the children with their men and then the men were freaking out because they can only feed the kids hot dog they didn't know how to take them to school they let them like and this is how men are going to act like women I does anybody else think it's weird that the biggest insult women like they can come up with is to compare men to well women it's not like completely insulting to women the misogyny must run this is just proof that the matriarchy hurts everybody equally. Men, know your worth. You're all kings. You're all ten. You can do better than broke women trying to get tribute and taking care of them like their children. Drizzle, drizzle.